Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Music Den. I'm your host, Armando Venditti. Hoping you guys are having a good afternoon. I'm going to be doing another uh, album review in this uh, episode. I got a CD in the mail yesterday that was released on uh, Friday. Um, and I've listened to it a couple of times. And I wanted to give you my take on it and let you know more about it. This is George Jackson. And Mr. George Jackson presents Max Champion in What a Racket. This is his 21st release. Uh, the CD is released to Ear Music and Adele Music, produced by George Jackson and Patrick Dillett, who also produced his previous album in 2019 called Fool. This album is somewhat of a concept album, and I will explain the concept to you. The concept is... Um, Max Champion was a uh, singer-songwriter born in the East End of London in 1882, uh, who basically was a performer of uh, music hall uh, pieces. He unfortunately passed away in the First World War, um, and his name faded into obscurity. Um, a piece of sheet music that uh, he had written down uh came to light in 2014, but five years later in 2019, um, a whole box of compositions written by Max Champion came to light, and Joe Jackson took these compositions and recorded them. This is the story that he has made for this album. Max Champion is a fictitious character, um, and he basically wove a story around this character max champion who max champion who also is the nephew of one harry champion another uh performer of music hall um this album clocks in at 41 minutes and change 11 tracks split up to um uh five on the first side which also known as first part uh six on the second part or part second on the CD it is um uh, he is backed on this album I should say by a 12 piece orchestra all live instruments no from what I can gather in the information I have no computer programming whatsoever on this album he performs all the songs uh, Mr. Jackson does in a cockney accent so if you can get around that and get used to that track by track you're good to go it is a good album um these uh, songs of note on this album for me are the lead off track uh the overture why 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 the sporting life is another one track number two um other songs of note for me are the title track what a racket also, which was the first single, the second single, Health and Safety, second to last track on the album. And, uh, you know, it, um, another track that is fantastic is also another one called Think of the Show. Um, <laughs> it is uh, it is a good album. It is, a again, somewhat of a concept album. Um, and it also comes with a booklet that I forgot to show you, which I'll show you here. Fantastic artistry on this cover. Uh, here you go. There are no pictures of Mr. Jackson or the orchestra on this, uh, in, in this, uh, booklet. All you have is the information on it. Um, I've given it a couple of listens. It is a good album. Would it grow on me? It's too soon to tell. I do applaud the fact that he, uh, that Mr. Jackson, uh, took on this character and took on this idea. Um, is the Cockney accent that is used throughout the entire album a bit much um only a couple of listens it's too soon to tell some albums you listen 
and you either will love it right away or it'll grow on you. Or there's a third option where you listen and at the beginning, when you first listen to it, you do like it. But then as you listen to it more and more, the interest uh, subsides. For me, it's too soon to tell. It is good. The instrumentation, the musicianship on this album is fantastic with the orchestra. Um, there is also a, a six minute plus documentary uh, with George Jackson talking about this album that's on YouTube. And I'll tell you guys, he throws himself into this character of uh, Max Champion. He, he talks about him in the third person. And he talks about the uh, the compositions that, you know, that they were so important back then and that they are still important in the 21st century. So you can catch that documentary, a uh, little snippet on YouTube. Uh, again, I do like the music. I do like some of the, uh, some of the tracks. It's got to grow on me a little more. Um, is the Cockney accent a little much to take over 11 tracks? I would say at this point, yeah. But I am willing to listen to it some more and give it uh, more time to grow on me. But uh, you be the judge. The uh, album is out. Um, it's on Amazon. It's in your local record store. You can get it on Discogs. You can get it on eBay, I would imagine, at this point. Um, I paid 22 and change for it. It is now going for 27 and change on Amazon. I'm glad I got it for the uh, 22. Would I have paid more than that? No. No. But it is a good album, and it um, hopefully it will grow on me. I've listened to it a couple of times. So please, check it out on YouTube. Let me know what you think in the comments down there, down below. And, um, you know, every, it, it, you're not going to like every album right off the bat, right away, right? Music comes to you at different times and for different reasons. So please, listen to the album. Let me know what you think. And uh, put your comments down below. That's it for now. I will be doing a um, an episode with Ryan Gavalier later today. It will be airing on Thursday. And that's going to be a fun episode. We're going to be uh, discussing our top five Christmas specials. And then stay tuned for another episode of uh, Album Spotlight featuring uh, <clears throat> Al Demiola and his 1999 release, Winter Nights. So there's a bit of a Christmas theme going on with these two episodes. Uh, those are coming up uh, back to back. So please stay tuned for that. Um, I will be doing an episode um, with Bill Schuster, his son Neil, uh, Ryan Gavalier, and uh, Mr. Peter Kent from the Lizard King channel. We're going to be ranking our, uh, <clears throat> our favorite like Sabbath albums, 19 albums. That's going to be long. And uh, we're going to be doing a show with uh, Peter Kent on Saturday um, on bands that people think that are bands that people think that are great. We think, nah, you know, nothing right home about. Anyways, uh, those are coming up. So please stay tuned for that. I am Armando Venditti wishing you guys a fantastic day. Please look after yourselves and one another. And I'll see you soon with another video. Bye for now.